Hey, what's up guys? This is Brian from Whisper Status 74. This is my HDR workaround for PC with Windows. Um, this is also a NVIDIA card, but it really shouldn't matter what your GPU is. Um, what's happening is HDR is enabled in Windows. It's also enabled in the control panel. Now how to enable it in the control panel is to change your color space to 4420, 10-bit limited. Um, though some games don't require you to do that. Like the PS4 um, Pro and the Xbox One X, you can have it in RGB full, you can have it however you want it. When HDR enables, it changes your color space automatically. Certain titles for the PC, Shadow Warriors 2 does it automatically. I don't have to change anything in the control panel. I like 444 Chroma. I don't like, well, it doesn't really matter, but I like it to be a little bit cleaner. Either way, this is how you have to fix it. Um, so you're playing the game. We'll go into it. Now you might not have it the same way I have. You might not have this green screen, but some of you guys are having issues with HDR remaining enabled. Like it says HDR in the menus, then when you play the game, it's it gets out of HDR. So this is what I have to do every time I play the game. It is arduous, I'll be waiting for a fix, but the game looks that good in HDR that it's actually worth it to me, when normally I don't love HDR on PC. And it could be because of this, this fun step. <laughs> so, let's let this load up real quick. There's my Warthog. Okay. Good way to check for dead pixels, by the way. Anyway, so here we are. Green screen. Gameplay. Car's moving. Everything's good. Now, get yourself out of the game without stopping the game. So, if that's your task manager, for me, it's control alternate delete and then when you go back out of this, when you hit cancel, you get totally saying to yourself, wow, I'm good. Ready to rock. HDR still enabled. We're still good. All right, let's get back into it. Ah. So that's what was happening. It was making me crazy. So this is my workaround. Again, control alt delete. Get out of it. Go into your task manager. You guys might have easier ways to do this. You don't need to go with Task Manager. Go into your Windows settings. System. HDR, as you can see, is enabled. Turn it off. Keep changes. Occasionally, when you go back to this, it might be okay. But it hasn't always been the case for me. So go back to the game. Now, as you can tell, it's washed out. So, HDR is clearly turned off. Now, non-HDR content doesn't look this way. So it's basically just a stripped down version, which looks atrocious, but this is without HDR and also not its normal settings. So stay in game, repeat the process again. Control, alternate, delete, get out of it. Go back into your settings here, enable it, keep changes. Sun's definitely up with it because it does make everything else laggy. Must be because the game's still running as well. So get out of that. See how laggy that is? Go down to game. And voila, there we are. HDR is running and it is happening. So, just to repeat the steps, is get out of, run the game. If HDR is not functioning properly, keep the game running. Go into the Microsoft settings with the game running. Disable HDR in the Microsoft Windows settings. Go back to the game. Make sure you go back to the game. Don't just disable it and go back. Or don't just disable it, enable it, and go back. Go back to the game, see the raw version, go back out into the Microsoft Windows settings, re-enable it, then go back to the game and you should be fine. This should work for the other titles as well, for Assassin's Creed and those of you that are struggling with those other titles. So try those steps, guys. Um, it looks amazing in HDR, so don't abandon it if you can help it. It really does make the game look realistic. Try those steps, see how it works for you, and let me know in the comments if you're having any other problems. And um, also, make sure that, you know, just to show you guys, 
quickly. Just to show you the NVIDIA control panel settings, I'm not sure what the um, AMD ones look like. These are the settings that you're looking for. Now typically I like this on 444 or RGB full. These are how I typically like them because I like having my display in full range. But in this particular title you're going to need to have these enabled to get the game to run properly. Also when you do your, your color space you're going to have to do them one at a time. So you're going to have to do your color space, enable, go into 10 bit, don't bother with 12 bit, the panel is only 10 bit. Enable, exit, and you should be good. In most titles, you should not have to do this because, like I said, the PS4 Pro and the Xbox One X, they do this on their own. So that's the workaround, guys. Hope it helps any of you that are struggling with HDR in any of your games. Um, it, it shouldn't be this way, guys. It's, it's much... Oh, look, I disabled it. <laughs> oh, my God. Let's see if it works again. Hold on. Just by messing around with that. That is amazing. That's actually frozen. Can you believe that? Alright, hold on. We're going to fix it real world here. There's my mouse. Try it again. Task manager. Get out. I obviously didn't mean to do this twice, guys, so it's going to be a longer video, but it shows you how buggy this actually is. I didn't even change anything in my control panel, and that's what happened. Isn't that crazy? Back to the game. Let it run. Get back out. Task manager. Go upstairs, honey. Back into HDR. Keep changes. Back into the game. And there we go. So just to show you also, look at it, real world. I didn't change anything in the control panel and it came back buggy. So HDR is still a bit of a mess. Don't know why it's such a problem for PC, but try those steps if it's not working in any of your titles. And uh, let me know what you think in the comments. Um, I'm glad it actually messed up real world because it does show you, especially you console guys, how much fun PC gaming can be. Um, as our PC master race, we do get the visuals we like, but damn, you, you got to work for them. Not only is it expensive, but you got to work for them. All right, guys. Thank you, as always. Hope this helps some of you. Have a great day. Take care.